Hey guys, it's Confessions of a Fairy, and today I'm going to be doing a very requested video. I will be showing you my Latin spell plus potion on how to become a fairy, so let's get started. So, the material you will need is a small mixing bowl, some water, a cardboard tube, a candle, a lighter to light your candle, a feather, a q-tip, nail polish of any kind, and then fairy dust. Before we get started, I would just like to make an announcement where if you are under the age of 13 to 14, please have an adult light your candle for you. Another thing is, if the background looks familiar, that is because I am at Fairy Truth's house and I am using her materials if those look familiar too. The first thing that you're going to do is light your candle because you are going to need the wax from the candle so it's going to have to melt first. Now that I have my candle lit, I'm going to fill my small bowl with a little bit of water as you can see. The next thing I'm going to do is open my fairy dust and pour a little bit into the water. I only put in a little bit because you aren't going to want to use all of your fairy dust right now because you are going to need a little bit more for the rest of the potion. What I have been doing is I put my glitter in and now I'm tapping the bowl like this so that my glitter distributes evenly like you can see. Now it's all around the water. The next thing you are going to do is take your cardboard tube. You can get these out of toilet paper, um, out of... Uh, paper towels. You can find them at the craft store. They're really not that hard to find. You can get your cardboard tube and you're going to take nail polish and you are going to draw a symbol on it. It doesn't matter the color of the nail polish but the symbols do matter so I will show you a few symbols that you can use. Remember to only pick one of the symbols that I'm about to show because I will be drawing three different symbols on this but it is because I'm not completely doing the potion and spell. I'm showing you guys how to do it. So remember when you do do it to only pick one symbol. Another thing is you don't necessarily have to use nail polish. I think nail polish is the best consistency for um, drawing your symbols, but you can use a marker, you can use paint, you can use whatever you have lying around. The first symbol that I'm going to show you is this one. It is a line going straight down and then two smaller lines. The bottom line is thicker and longer than the top line. This symbol represents a tree, if you can see that. See the tree kind of? And it just means you'll be more nature oriented as a fairy. Okay, the next symbol is this one. It is a circle that has a small part cut out of it and then you draw a line in the small portion that is missing and this might look familiar it looks like a power symbol like um on gaming consoles uh when you press this that usually means you're turning it on well this symbol actually helps you um not get as weak or dizzy or tired from technology you won't be as um You'll be more resistant to technology, pretty much that's what this symbol helps with. The last symbol that I will be showing you today is this symbol. It is a half circle that has three um, smaller circles on top of it. And this pretty much looks like an animal paw print. Um, this, um, just like how the tree one makes you more in touch with nature, more nature oriented, this makes you feel more in touch with animals and animal oriented. The next thing you're going to do is take your Q-tip and you're going to dip both ends into your water and fairy dust. What I'm doing is I'm actually going where you can see the clumps more and I'm going to try to take it from there. So that's what each side should look like when you're done. So now that I've covered both ends of my q-tip and they look like this, um, I'm going to tap my bowl again to make sure that all the little gaps in the fairy dust uh, fill in. This is when the candle comes in. Now you are going to blow out your candle and you are going to dip one of the ends in the wax. Like that. So what I actually did was I took my wax and I kept going around like this. I would twist my q-tip to make the tip bigger and then I opened my fairy dust 
So you're going to open your fairy dust back up. This is why I said to save some of it because you will need it again. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm having a trouble opening this. Okay, so I opened it back up and I'm going to dip the waxy part into the fairy dust. So now it looks like this. I just wanted to show you guys a close-up of how your Q-tip should now look. You're going to, now you are going to put your Q-tip to the side. I just put it on a small um, index card or a piece of paper. Then you are going to take your feather and you are going to graze the surface of the water. Stirring it kind of, but you are picking up water and fairy dust. So what I am doing is, as you can see, I am stirring it and see how the glitter is moving and you're kind of only getting a little bit, which is perfect. Now, since you've been stirring it for a while, you are going to take your feather and put it into the water and then when you lift up, you will have fairy dust on it. Now that I have my scooped up fairy dust onto my feather like this, I'm going to spread it onto my hand. This is now how my hand looks. So it's not perfect, but I do have quite a bit on there. Now what you are going to do is you are going to take the Q-tip that has wax and fairy dust on it, and you are actually going to trace your hand on this side of your hand. It won't really come off. You will have a faint trail of fairy dust, hopefully though. And if you don't see how I see the faint trail um where i've been doing it the fairy dust has kind of come off so you have to just switch it around and keep going and the reason that we put um more on this side was because then you're going to do this in the center you're just going to draw a circle with this side now you will grab your tube and your symbol, say I'm using this symbol, pretend these aren't on here. So my symbol will go into my hand and I will put the Q-tip which I have used inside the roll and the feather. Then I will put this on the inside of my hand and squeeze tightly and I will say the magic words. Make sure you are crushing it as hard as you can like I am. When you say these magic words, I have them written down right here, they are actually in Latin, so I will be saying them. You don't have to say them completely correct, but you do have to say them kind of correct. It's mediocris ego quidem sum, mediocris ego quidem pasum. So you're going to say that three times, and then when you are done, you are just going to draw. You might be wondering what the Latin words mean in English, and pretty much all it means is I'm a fairy, yes I am, I'm a fairy, yes I can. Now, with the leftover fairy dust that is on your hand, you can rub it off if you feel, but it is best to let it come off as naturally as possible because when you do rub it, it just gets completely everywhere, which actually looks kind of pretty, but still. You might want to let it like rub off by itself, not you rubbing it. You want to let it come off as naturally as possible. Don't use soap or water because it will um, disrupt the spell. Now what you are going to do with your leftover fairy dust and water, you're just going to you're just going to pour that outside. Don't pour it down the drain. Pour it outside in the grass, in the dirt. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's a natural place. Remember to make sure that this comes off naturally. And if you don't see results, which means like the itch right here because that's a sign of it. If you don't start to see wing buds, um if you don't start to feel weak around technology or something like that, um, then you did it wrong within five days. So, or something went wrong, not necessarily you did it wrong. So, thank you for watching. I hope this spell works for you. And if it doesn't, I will link my friend's spells down below. Thank you. Bye.